He imagined the Viden. You're freezing to death. We are freezing to death. Left click operates your left hand. Right click operates your right hand. Pick up fuel to start. It's good to be alive. My name is Faith Slav, and good morning, good day, and good evening to you all and my nose itches. Okay, I'm gonna leave this out. <laughs> so, uh, welcome to the Imagined Leviathan. I didn't know about the Leviathan, what it means. I heard it in Mass Effect. Uh, according to Wikipedia, Leviathan is a creature with the form of a sea serpent from Judaism. It is referenced in several books of the Hebrew Bible, including Psalms, the Book of Job, the Book of Isaiah, and the Book of Amos, as have been wider comparisons to even dragon and world serpent. Leviathan also features in the Hebrew Bible as a metaphor for a powerful enemy, notably Babylon, Isaiah 27.1. Some 19th century scholars pragmatically interpret it as referring to a large aquatic creature, such as the crocodile. The word later comes to the term for great whale and for sea monsters in general. So yeah, that's all I know about the Leviathan as much as you. So hold fuel, look at the, another fuel. Look at it. Are, are you looking at it? I'm also looking at it. So I don't know what another fuel, which means the fuel is the branch. Press E to start building a fire. All right. Oh, okay. Eh, there's, there it is. Oh, just needs kindling now. Kindling is a, a dead thing from the tree. So yeah, uh, King could help start a fire. Okay. Oh, get a life words on the ground. We didn't start the fire. There is a limit to thinking. There is never a limit to thinking. I I can't limit myself. Do you limit yourself with thinking? The seas are rising, said the teacher. Oh! Oh, said the teacher. Destroy life with fire. I mean, we have to. Sacrifice life for the fire. We have to sacrifice my, our life for the fire. Listen to life. There is a limit to thinking. All right. But there is a limit to thinking about even a small piece of something monumental. Okay. You still see the shadow of the hole rearing up behind you, and you become lost in your thoughts, okay. in part from the panic of realizing the size of that imagined leviathan. All right. Hmm. What is he trying to tell us? Warm up, then climb. We're warming up by the fire. It is a beautiful game, I must say. It's nice. Dr down here. Well, Leviathan. Is it a creature? Is somebody gonna attack us? I mean, I don't see any threat. I only burned some words. To actually, two phrases and. A guy whispered into my ear, so that's not... I mean, I saw it, it was an indie horror game. But then, okay, so I started speeding from time to time. Shit, you should never speed. You see what happens? I mean, you can crash and you can... Well, people can get really hurt. Uh, stay quiet. It's above. What it... What the hell? What's this? Shh. Did you see? It's the Leviathan. Is... Okay. Can I go now? Oh, thank you for the warning. I need to light the fire to keep myself. Save me, but he would eat me. Maybe Leviathan would come for me and devour me. Whole. Like a cake. So I got a time to talk with you. How are you? How is your life? I mean, what do you think about all of this? Leviathans, creatures from the sky. How would you react if you were in this kind of a situation? I mean, 
I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what's my life. Who am I? Who is this guy? What's his story? What's your story? Oh, no, 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 no. This is my greatest fear. To be lost in the 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 snow. You don't know where you're going. You don't know where you're walking. It's just snow everywhere. What is your greatest fear? I mean, this is one of my fears to be lost in the snow wander without no direction. Light a fire. Light a fire. No, don't drop the. Okay, I found my way. No, drop this. Okay. Just needs kindling. Um. Oh God. Oh shit. Oh no 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 no. Where's kindling? Shit, shit. What the hell? And then I died. Well, that's the end. I was shown a map of 30 years from now. My house, the school, everywhere I played, all marked as ocean. The seas are rising, said teacher. It's because we burn black corpse fluid and eat red corpse meat. I began to cry as mortal fear overcame me. Why are mummy and daddy letting this happen? I wailed. The teacher consoled me, and my friends distracted me with games. By the time my father asked what I'd learned that day, I hesitated only briefly before answering nothing. Hmm. We were distraught when he was diagnosed. But after a year using the wheelchair, life was getting good for father again. We had a routine. I took care of him. Then one day, he was hit by a speeding car right outside the house. It could have happened to absolutely anyone. What the fuck? I never found the culprit. I was in shock. But years went by and I started to forget. I started speeding from time to time. So somebody hit his father? By speeding and then then left what kind of a monster does that oh branch go away leviathan i need to find a branch i need to keep myself warm look 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 how many branches are here three branches when how did it appear ah you game you're messing with me can i pick more branches can i have a stack of them Oh, I can. Oh, I'm stacked on branches. Is this a branch? No, this is a shadow. It's a shadow. Okay, this video should be more or less me finding branches. <laughs> ah, fun times. Once a year at Steelhenge, on the summer solstice, we bring messages from our travels. Tales of life before the last winter. Tales we choose to preserve. I don't see the words. We mark our messages in the metal, so our descendants will remember the mistake we made. We did not confront our imaginary leviathans. Okay. A kingdom from a kindling. Naked apes. I used to believe in a terrifying world. Okay. Despite the law, no one was really in control. Mm. It functioned only because we all believed in money, believed in politics. Mm. At any moment the veil could fall, mm. and we'd be naked apes warring mm. for sustenance. Mm. But I discovered the truth. Mm. This world is run by ancient Mayan descendants. They keep Mayan. our brains subservient with mobile internet masts. Weirdly, I actually feel a lot better now. I know my enemy. Who is your enemy? Everybody? I mean, yeah. Come to think of it, we are being controlled. By everything, by the media, by what we are being told. Doesn't mean that everything is truth, but... But, to say the least... Yeah, I mean, times change. You have to evolve, you have to... And we need to embrace it. We need to change things, but also we need to... And make it better. What is your take on this? I mean, the future, the technology... It, we need it. It's it's part of life right now. Got more words. So we're gonna listen to it by the fire. 
Listen to life, mineral mined by broken backs. Before the winter, I made fantasy computer games. Okay. My son would ask, where do computers come from? Hmm? Exploited laborers under deathly conditions. What? Minerals mined by broken backs of slaves and children. I'd say China, then get distracted, eat takeaway food, and forget about it again. Okay, go, 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 don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh. Oh. Fire, listen to the story. While eating a ham sandwich, I began to doubt reality. Ham sandwich? I read an article about a purely virtual computer capable of running programs built inside a children's game. The universe is ancient and massive, thought I. There must be many species with whole world simulation. Thousands of times more complex than a child. In the face of such an overwhelming number of cyber world, isn't it unlikely that we live in the one true reality? Okay, what's he, what he is implying is that we are not living in a reality or that we are living in a virtual reality, but I don't believe that. There are theories that we are in a simulation that doesn't hold the water for me. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. To think of it, to think of this life as a simulation, it, wouldn't we already find a way out? Or wouldn't somebody tell us that? Or would we? I mean, time after time we we find something new and we discover things. I mean, I think that by now we would know that we were in simulations. Ooh. Did I see this? I didn't see this. Okay. What is this? What is this? Okay, I'm I'm climbing. I'm up, I'm going up. This Stonehenge. What is happening? And I'm freezing. Steelhenge. This section requires life. Where did I find life? Okay, so I found a place where I where I need to go. But I need life. Alright. Oh, a scarecrow. There must be words there. Yes, yes. Cold. Cold and uncomfortable and that was all. You root among weeds exposed by the slight summer thaw. And find a piece of city in you. Taking the female in your hands. You begin to describe a message to your descendants, a warning not to overlook great threats, even they are hard to think about. This year you choose to describe a tale of persistency, that in this post-human wasteland we may live to build another fire. Hmm, so my... So my goal was to... inscribe the message my goal was not to survive but to give a message to people to survive it's it's quite an interesting story i mean the thing about the the father that is telling about his his father and his son and i think we need to like like in the end shine some light on things but also keep on evolving to keep on being better it was quite an experience, I mean, it's a simple concept, this game is not something that you would say revolutionary, but it's, it's, it has a soul. And that's what I like about these games, it doesn't have to have a, uh, action sequences or any, it had something in it. It had a leviathan, it had a fire, it had a branches, I, I was immersed. So check it out, it's free on Steam. I'll put it in the link below. So keep a light on, look brightly into the future. Well, that would be it. See you. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. If you're still here, there will be a Christmas story on Christmas, of course. So wait for it. Enjoy the cookies. <laughs> ho 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 ho. Hmm.
Mm. Oh my god. So good. Oh my god. Mm.